The universe was supposed to follow rules. Gravity, light, matter, time, everything neatly arranged in equations that made sense on a chalkboard. For decades, physicists believed they had the cosmos mostly figured out. Not perfectly, but close enough. Then the James Webb Space Telescope opened its golden eyes, and everything fell apart. It started quietly. Webb's first deep field images looked beautiful, galaxies sparkling like jewels against the black curtain of space. But behind the beauty was something terrifying. The galaxies were wrong. Too old, too massive, too bright, appearing at times in the universe where they shouldn't exist. According to physics, they could not exist. And yet they were right there, staring back at us. Imagine looking at a baby and seeing wrinkles, scars, and white hair. That's what Webb was showing scientists, a young universe filled with ancient structures. At first, astronomers thought it had to be an error, miscalibration, processing issues. But the data kept coming, and the galaxies kept breaking the rules. Some formed just 200 million years after the Big Bang, but they looked as if they had already lived billions of years. Massive spiral galaxies with mature structures, heavy elements, and supermassive black holes that should have taken eons to grow were already fully formed. These weren't early galaxies. These were cosmic giants appearing before the universe even had enough time to build them. And suddenly, the textbooks on galaxy formation? Useless. But that was only the first crack. Webb then turned its gaze toward one of the strangest objects ever found. A deep space anomaly now nicknamed a cosmic rule breaker. It wasn't behaving like any galaxy ever observed. Its stars were too tightly packed. Its mass to light ratio made no sense. It appeared older than the universe should have allowed. Some physicists quietly whispered the unthinkable. What if our understanding of the early universe is fundamentally wrong? That whisper became louder when Webb identified something even more disturbing. Galaxies so compact and dense that they resembled black hole seeds more than galaxies. These weren't supposed to exist until much later. The physics of black hole formation simply didn't allow them. But Webb doesn't care about human theories. It shows the universe as it is, not as we wish it to be. Then came the next shockwave. Webb detected chemical signatures, heavy elements like oxygen, carbon, and silicon, in places where the universe should have still been mostly hydrogen and helium. Those heavy elements only come from stars that have lived, died, and exploded. But that would mean multiple generations of stars already existed, barely a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. It was like seeing a newborn baby holding a diploma. Something was accelerating cosmic evolution in ways we have never seen before. But the biggest scientific panic started when Webb pointed toward the oldest light in the universe, the cosmic microwave background. Hidden in that faint glow was a pattern, a subtle anisotropy, that didn't match predictions from the standard model of cosmology. Suddenly, physicists wondered, was the Big Bang even what we think it was? Webb wasn't rewriting chapters of physics. It was burning them. Some of the anomalies were so extreme that researchers began proposing theories once considered fringe. Did the speed of light behave differently in the early universe? Were the laws of physics not constant? Was there an unknown particle, or even an unknown force, acting in the first billion years of cosmic history? Others suggested something even more radical, that the universe may have had a pre-Big Bang phase, a cosmic bounce, a previous universe collapsing, then exploding into ours. Webb's data hints at structures that appear too aligned, as if inherited from a previous cycle of reality. For decades, these ideas were theoretical playgrounds, dismissed as speculation. Webb suddenly made them impossible to ignore. But the telescope wasn't done. While analyzing distant stars, Webb detected objects emitting a form of light that didn't match any known process. The spectral lines were distorted, stretched, and twisted in a way that suggested either unknown chemistry, unknown physics, or unknown matter. At first, scientists thought it might be exotic stars. But the spectral signatures kept appearing in multiple regions thousands of light years apart. Whatever these objects were, they seemed to be everywhere, but were invisible to older telescopes like Hubble. Something was hiding in the universe, and Webb had just exposed it. Some researchers proposed an extraordinary idea. These could be pockets of dark stars. Not stars made of normal matter, but stars powered by dark matter annihilation. If true, the universe once hosted a completely different type of star. Giant, 
ghostly, and bright enough for Webb to catch. This was the first real observational hint that dark matter isn't just a mathematical trick. It might be forming structures, powering stars, and shaping galaxies in ways we never imagined. If dark matter can shine, almost every model of cosmology collapses, then Webb delivered the blow no one was ready for. In the spectra of early galaxies, researchers found gravitational redshifts that didn't match the expected mass of the galaxies themselves. They were heavier, much heavier, than their visible matter could explain. But this wasn't just normal dark matter. The distortion pattern suggested something clumping, interacting, and behaving unlike any dark matter model to date. It was as if a hidden skeleton of the universe was suddenly revealed, and it did not match anything physics predicted. The possibility emerged that dark matter may not be weakly interacting after all. It might have its own forces, its own interactions, maybe even its own equivalent of chemistry. A shadow universe, overlapping ours, silently shaping everything. If that sounds like science fiction, remember, we once thought black holes were impossible too. As if rewriting cosmology wasn't enough, Webb also broke stellar physics. The telescope detected stars surprisingly close to the first galaxies, but these stars were enormous, unstable, and impossibly bright. They resembled the legendary Population 3 stars, the first stars ever formed, but they were behaving strangely. They were hotter than expected, lived shorter lives, and produced heavier elements too quickly. If these observations hold, it means our entire model of star formation, the timeline, the process, the life cycle, is flawed. The early universe wasn't slow and gentle. It was explosive, chaotic, and fast-forwarded. But the most controversial discovery arrived from an unexpected direction. While studying gravitational lensing events, Webb captured distortions that did not match Einstein's predictions. They were off by just a tiny fraction, but enough to make physicists extremely nervous. Gravity itself seemed to be misbehaving. Some lensing arcs bent too strongly, others bent too weakly. The only explanation was either. There is unknown matter we cannot see. The geometry of space-time is different than we thought. Or, Einstein's general relativity is incomplete. For over a century, general relativity has been our guiding light. Now Webb is quietly suggesting that gravity might have layers or limits we never understood. And if that's true, everything falls apart. Black hole physics, neutron stars, cosmic expansion, even our models of the universe's fate, all of it becomes uncertain. But the deepest question comes from one final, haunting observation. Webb detected what appeared to be dark voids, regions of space where light bends incorrectly, as if interacting with something unseen, something with negative mass or exotic properties. These voids shouldn't exist. They don't match dark matter. They don't match normal matter. They don't match any simulation. Some physicists believe these could be tears or defects in space-time itself, scars left over from the universe's birth. Others whisper something even bolder, evidence of higher dimensions interacting with our own. It sounds impossible, until you remember that Webb keeps proving the impossible. Every time we point Webb somewhere new, the universe stops making sense. Our equations break. Our assumptions collapse. Our confidence evaporates. And yet, in that chaos, something remarkable is happening. We are witnessing the universe without filters. Not the universe we drew on chalkboards. Not the universe we assumed. The universe as it truly is. Complex. Violent. Fast. Mysterious. A place where galaxies grow up too quickly. Stars behave strangely. Dark matter might shine. Gravity might be incomplete. And space-time itself may still be evolving. Webb isn't just showing us the cosmos. It is showing us our own ignorance. For the first time in history, humanity is confronting the possibility that physics, the language we use to describe reality, is not finished, not broken, but incomplete, missing chapters, missing rules, missing entire pages. The James Webb Space Telescope didn't just take beautiful pictures. It cracked the foundation of physics and invited us to rebuild it from scratch. And the most thrilling and terrifying part? This is only the beginning.